the host communities are now being alienated. And you are ba dealing with banditry that you have not conquered. You are dealing with kidnapping you have not conquered. You are dealing with Boko Haram for almost 10 years that, that is terrorizing everybody. And the security forces are still battling it. You want to open another chapter in over eight states or more in communities where majority of our people reside, most of them remote, that have very little federal government presence, no security presence. I thought that the host communities and the people should have been placed as the number one partners for stability and for development of the oil producing areas in order to guarantee sustainability in this critical industry, without which the national economy will collapse. The argument is that, oh, anything more than 3%, investors will not come. And so what? If the host communities are not happy, will investors come? If the host communities do not have a stake in oil exploration and exploitation activities, they will, they, they, the investors that they are trying to bring will not only come, those who come by whatever means, once they find that the situation is not conducive, they will take off. And it is not a wise decision. Because you are not dealing with only one community. You are dealing with thousands, hundreds of communities. And don't forget that now, even the transit communities have a stake. I know that people are arguing why pipeline communities should be part of it. But there is sense in that. Because if you exclude pipeline communities, they can sabotage the entire operations, isn't it? So it's a question of percentage. It's a question of a proper uh, discretion at the level of management of this host community fund. So still a lot of thinking, a lot of skill has to be deployed in the actual management of the, of the host communities fund. But the world knows, these host communities knows that at the beginning of this bill, what was proposed was 10% for them. And no one is engaging them. No one is explaining anything to them. All they have seen is that people who say they have majority votes have imposed a 3% on them, and they're angry. 